I am standing in one of the streets in Arua town, the district that has got the biggest number of villages in Uganda. The district alone has over 1,300 villages. As they go for local council one elections tomorrow, I sought the views of the residents here. Here in Arua, some of the residents are prepared and happy that LC1 elections have to come after 17 years. But some residents are not happy with the lining up behind the candidate. I'm uh, anticipating that let the elections take part. If other elections are taken part, why is it that the lower cadre is not elected? So where can we present our problems to the government? It should be starting from the, what the LC wants. So I'm happy that it is coming to take place, so I'm waiting for it. It's good that we should have uh, LC1 elections in our area because the previous LCs, others, they cannot do well. So that we have to look that uh, we have to select uh, good people to be LC1 chairman so that they can lead the villages and the cells. Really, like, uh, I'm not that much prepared because, you know, no matter how, much, like, how I prepare, it will never change. Arua Resident District Commissioner Peter Debele says that district is prepared for the exercise. As for us, security, we are going to ensure that there is security. There is enough security. I know my district is very large. National Resistance Movement Party officials in Arua District post of adequate preparation. And as I talk now, Actually, most of my colleagues, they are on ground, mobilizing support for our flag bearers. And uh, I'm so hopeful that we will, as a, a district, register success of over 95%. Residents from 60,800 villages across the country will go to the polls tomorrow. And the government has declared Tuesday a public holiday. Philip Aguta reporting from Arua District.